Hi, today we are going to learn how to find the area of a rhombus. So as you can see, I have already drawn one rhombus on the grid. So before we start calculating the area of the rhombus, let us draw the diagonal AC. So as you can see, I have drawn one diagonal AC, which is dividing our rhombus in two triangles. First triangle is triangle ABC, this triangle, and the second triangle is triangle ABC. Right? Now, what can we say about these two triangles? See, since this is a rhombus, it has all the sides equal. So, so now if we talk about these two triangles, and these two triangles are inside the original rhombus, and as we know that the rhombus has all the four sides equal, that means in triangle ABC, line AB is equal to line BC, and which are equal to line AD and line DC, right? All the four sides of the triangle are, all the four sides of the rhombus are equal. And AC is a diagonal which is common in both the triangles, both triangles ABC and ADC. So, since all the corresponding sides of both the triangles are equal, these two triangles are congruent. We can say this using side, side, side identity, right? And since both these triangles are congruent, angle BAC is equal to angle DAC. Right? Corresponding angles of the congruent triangles. Similarly, angle ACB will be equal to angle ACD. And all these four angles will also be equal. Why? Because triangle ABC is also an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to BC. So in isosceles triangle, the opposite angles of the equal sides are also equal. So we can say that all these four angles, angle BAC is equal to angle BCA and this is equal to angle DAC and which is equal to angle DCA, right? So all these four angles are equal. Now I'm going to do one more construction in this rhombus. I'm going to draw a diagonal from point P to point D. So I have drawn one more diagonal and let's assume that diagonal AC and diagonal BD intersect each other at point O. I'll call this point O. And now our rhombus is actually got divided into four tiny triangles. Right? And now let's take two triangles. The triangles which I'm going to talk about are triangle ABO, that is this triangle, and triangle ADO, that is this triangle. Okay? We are going to talk about these two triangles. If you see carefully, in these two triangles, in triangle ABO, angle BAO is equal to angle DAO. We have already proved it, right? And line AB is equal to line AD, right? And we also have one line in common, which is AO. So line AO, which is there in both the triangles, is definitely equal, right? So in these two triangles, two sides are equal, this and this, and one angle is equal. So if we use side angle side, identity, we can prove that these two triangles 
are also congruent. Right? So since these two triangles are congruent, this angle is equal to this angle. Right? And both of them will be 90 degrees because together they are making a straight angle. Right? So what we have proved? We have actually proved that in a rhombus, both the diagonals intersect each other at 90 degree. Right? Now let's go back to our original figure again. So again we have a rhombus on the grid and we have recently proved that the diagonals of the rhombus intersect each other at 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree and this angle is also 90 degree. BD and AC are the diagonals of the rhombus. If we see carefully and consider the diagonal BD, the diagonal BD actually divides the rhombus into two triangles, right? And both of them have base as BD and the height of one triangle is AO and the height of another triangle is OC. If we consider triangle ABD, AO is the height and OC is the height in the case of triangle BDC, right? So as we have discussed, the area of the rhombus can be written as the area of triangle ABD plus the area of triangle BDC, right? So if we talk about the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle is 1 by 2 base multiplied by height, right? So in the case of triangle ABD, the base we are considering as BD. The reason behind considering BD as the base is first, it is a horizontal line and second, BD can be measured accurately on the grid, right? So the area of triangle ABD will be 1 by 2 base, that is BD multiplied by height, that is AO in this case, right? Plus the area of triangle BDC, which will be 1 by 2 base in the triangle BDC, the base will be BD for the same reason as in triangle ABD. So the base is BD multiplied by height, which is OC in this case, right? And now if we see properly, this 1 by 2 is common in both the expressions which we have got in the process of calculating the area and base BD is also common. So these two terms can be taken out as common terms. So it will be 1 by 2 BD and inside the bracket we will have AO plus OC, right? So this will be the area of the rhombus which will eventually be equal to 1 by 2 BD AO plus OC. AO plus OC is the complete length from point A to point C, which is AC, right? And now if we see this AC is diagonal, is one diagonal and BD is another diagonal. So what is the area of the rhombus actually? So the area of the rhombus can be written as area of rhombus can be written as 1 by 2 multiplied by the product of diagonal 1 that is D1 multiplied by D2, right? So the area of the rhombus can be found by multiplying the length of both the diagonals and dividing it by 2. So this is the formula for the area of the rhombus. And now let's discuss about the area of kite. So as you can see, I have drawn one kite on the grid. And here also we can, as we have proved in the case of rhombus, we can prove that this angle is 90 degree, right? And if we call this point of the intersection of both the diagonals as O, again we can prove that area of kite 
will be equal to the area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD. So area of triangle ABC will be 1 by 2 BD. The length of BD multiplied by AO and the and the area of triangle BCD will be 1 by 2 BD which is the base which is the common base of both the triangles multiplied by CO right and again from here we can take 1 by 2 BD common and inside the bracket we will have AO plus CO right AO plus CO is actually the length of the diagonal AC so this can be written as 1 by 2 BD multiplied by AC right so in the case of kite also the area of the kite is actually the half of the product of both the diagonals so the area of the kite can be written as area of kite is half of the product of of diagonals so this is the proof of the formula for the area of the kite.